You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Soap fans. We are going to talk about Bo Brady real quick from Days of Our Lives because all his talk about wanting to be a Kittyakis, but he's a Brady. And some people don't remember their history or just aren't quite sure exactly how is Bo Brady a Kiriakis. So we're going to talk about that real quick, take a brief walk through Bo Brady's background to explain this to you. The first thing, if you did not know, his name is not just Bo Brady, but it's Beauregard Aurelius Brady. Uh, Back in the 80s, for just a split second, he called himself Bo Kiriakis, but that was just for a hot minute, and that was just when he found out about his uh, biological parentage. So up until the time that he died, and of course Bo Brady died several years back from complications of an inoperable brain tumor, and for the almost the entire run of his history on Days of Our Lives, he's been Bo Brady. And he is pretty much always been on the side of law and order. You know, he had a few criminal activities, but he's mostly a law and order guy, which is very much unlike most of the Kiriakis clan, specifically Victor Kiriakis, who definitely had no problem doing illegal things, doing shady things, doing violent things to take out his enemies. And that is not the kind of guy that Bo Brady was. However, the bow that we have now on Days of Our Lives is not like that old bow. He has been gone through the brain tumor trauma, and then he was frozen for so long, and then he was thought out and cured, and then he was brainwashed and basically conditioned by Megan Hathaway and Dr. Rolf. They were trying to force his brain to love Megan and forget hope and the side effects of this are that he doesn't want to think about his family. He doesn't want to think about his past. He wants to forge this new identity for himself. And for some reason, he is very tethered to the idea that he will be Bo Kiriakis now. And he kidnapped Kayla Brady to bring her with him to the childhood home of Victor Kiriakis. And he is talking about basically using her like the Damaris used Dr. Rolf. And she's not interested in it. She's very upset that Bo keeps rejecting the past. And he almost does not seem to have a lot of brotherly affection for her right now. So there's clearly still something psychological going on with him. And he is totally focused on being a Kiriakis. So... Do you know why he thinks he is a Kiriakis? Growing up on Days of Our Lives in Salem, his mother was Caroline Brady, and he was raised to believe that the elder Sean Brady was his father. And they they were married, and they raised him, but his biological father was, in fact, Victor Kiriakis, and it wasn't until he was an adult that he found this out. And... You know, on both sides, on the Brady side and on the Kiriakis side, he's got family, he's got siblings, you know, he's got Kayla, and then over, he's got Philip Kiriakis on the other side, and he's got a ton of cousins on both sides. And it is pretty exciting for Bo because he is tied to two of the legacy families of Salem. He is a Kiriakis and he is a Brady. But right now, he is rejecting the Brady side of it, other than the fact that he's kidnapped his sister. And the big thing about him trying to be a Kiriakis is that he doesn't just, he could just have gone back to Salem and gone to Titan Industries and said, I want a job. And Victor Kiriakis probably would have given him a job. Of course, the character's not on screen anymore because John Aniston passed away. But in the storylines, they've kept him alive. So he's just giving orders through Maggie Horton, who he put in as CEO after Sonny Kiriakis left, much to the chagrin of Alex Kiriakis. So There's little doubt that Bo could have just come back to Salem and said, hey, I'm alive. I want to explore this side of my family tree. I want to work at Titan, and they would have found something for him. 
Victor's always looking to bring family back in. And especially since so much of the family is gone right now, Philip's in the nut house. Sonny has gone off to uh, left Salem to be with Will Horton while he makes films. So definitely there's a gap. Xander Cook doesn't really want much to do with Titan and he had a big falling out and, you know, he's kind of persona non grata, which is usual. So there is room for Bo at Titan and to be part of the Kiriakis family, but he doesn't want to do that. Bizarrely, he has brought Kayla back to the poor little goat farm where Victor Kiriakis grew up in Greece and that seems to be where he wants to launch himself almost as like a Victor Kiriakis 2.0. And so that's what some people are talking about is basically whether Bo will sort of take on the persona of Victor and step into that role, you know, not not becoming Victor, but basically becoming a person like Victor, that he would be Bo Kiriakis and that he would kind of step into the role that John Aniston has stepped out of when he passed away. So that would be very interesting. And one other thing to think about is while Bo is embracing the Kiriakis side of his past, how is that going to play into his reunion with Hope Brady? Right now, she does not know he's alive, but next week she will find out because Steve tracks Kayla to the farm, and so he runs into Bo, and then he is able to tell everybody back in Salem, hey, Bo is alive thanks to Megan's strange science. And the thing is, is Hope definitely loves Bo Brady, but that's the Bo she knew before. And he's he's not that Bo right now. He is definitely has some PTSD or some residual brain issues from what's going on. And that's why he's just emotionally detached. That's why people think he might have shot Kate Roberts, although I seriously doubt he did. I'm sure she's off running around and she's going to turn up again. But will him embracing this Kiriakis side of his DNA be one more obstacle towards keeping him away from hope when everybody wants them to have a big reunion? I don't know. What do you think? So if you did not remember how Bo is a Kiriakis, we hope this was very helpful. And be sure to keep watching Days of Our Lives to see what the heck Bo Brady Kiriakis is going to do next. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.